Hi everyone, my name is Deep Patadia. In today's mechanical ventilation talk, I'm gonna be talking about the trigger variable. Now the trigger is the first stage of a mechanical breath. It determines when inspiration begins. Now, a breath can be triggered one of two ways. Either a ventilator can trigger a breath, known as a ventilator triggered breath, or a patient themselves can trigger a breath, a patient triggered breath. Now let's fine tune our terminology. If you have a ventilator triggered breath, moving forward now, we're gonna be calling that a controlled breath. Any ventilator triggered breath from now on will be called a controlled breath. If you have a patient triggered breath, that is known as an assisted breath. All right, so now let's get familiar with controlled breaths and assisted breaths. Now, interestingly enough, the difference between controlled breaths and assisted breaths is the trigger variable. If you have a controlled breath or a ventilator triggered breath, the trigger variable is time. For example, let's say you have a respiratory rate of 12 breaths per minute. If the patient is deeply sedated, five seconds will go by, and as a result, the vent will trigger a breath. You will get a controlled breath because time is your trigger variable. Let's contrast that with an assisted breath. What happens in an assisted breath is the trigger variable is either pressure or flow. What happens is the patient triggers a breath themselves. They will change either the pressure or either the flow in the circuitry. And as a result, that will trigger a breath. Now it's up to you, the operator, to decide whether the trigger variable is either pressure or flow for assisted breaths. It's up to you. However, conventionally, majority of the time, the trigger variable is flow. Now for controlled breaths, how do you set the time? The time between each breath delivered is actually determined by the respiratory rate. For assisted breaths, you have to plug in a numerical value for the pressure or the flow. So for example, if the flow is set to three liters per minute, that means if the patient initiates a breath, if that breath surpasses the threshold of three liters per minute, then that breath is delivered. And there's two modes of ventilation that you should be familiar with, and we're gonna to touch on this and build on these as we go through the lecture series. The first is pressure assist control ventilation, also known as pressure control. The other one is volume assist control ventilation, and for short, we call that volume control. Now, the name of the mode of ventilation actually gives you a lot of information about various aspects and features of that mode of ventilation. For example, in pressure assist control ventilation, look at these two words, assist and control. This mode of ventilation is saying that all the breaths should be assisted, meaning triggered by the patient. And in case the patient doesn't trigger a breath, a backup ventilator or controlled breath is delivered. So in this case, the trigger variable here will be pressure or flow, usually flow since that's the most common, plus time being the trigger variable. So again, a lot of information is given in the name. Pressure control ventilation, also known as PCV, pressure control ventilation. Same goes for volume assist control ventilation or volume control. Volume Control Ventilation, VCV, is uh, the acronym we use. Again, a lot of information is in the name. In Volume Assist Control Ventilation, you have assisted breaths and controlled breaths. And what are your trigger variables? It's either pressure or flow. And for controlled breaths, your trigger variable is time. So let's take a look at an example here. You have two patients, patient A on the left, patient B on the right. Simple question, which of these is an assisted breath? Which of this one is a controlled breath? And what is the trigger variable for patient A? And what's the trigger variable for patient B? So why don't you figure it out, pause the video now, and then we'll discuss the answer. All right, so let's take a look. So right now we can see we have a pressure scalar, all right? And the key difference, it's very subtle, but if you look at the trigger phase, which is 
the initiation of the breath right here. You want to take a look. You can see that there's a negative deflection at the initiation of the breath. A negative deflection in the pressure scale R means the patient is triggering the breath themselves. Contrast that with over here, there is no negative deflection. Therefore, the patient is not triggering a breath here, but the ventilator is triggering the breath here. So as a result, patient A is an assisted breath, whereas the controlled breath is patient B. Then comes the second question. What is the trigger variable? Now remember, in assisted breaths, the trigger variable is either pressure or flow. And in patient B, the trigger variable is time. Now taking this a step further, in patient A, we have assisted breaths. The trigger variable is pressure or flow. How do we know which one it is? Well, in the servo eye ventilator, if you look on the flow scalar, there is a pink line right here. The pink line actually designates what the trigger variable is. So in this particular case, the trigger variable is going to be flow because the operator said it like that. Again, in assisted breaths, the operator can determine what the trigger variable is. I could have easily made the trigger variable here pressure, in which case this line over here would have been pink. This is an easy way on the servo eye ventilator to determine what the trigger variable is. Over here, you can see there's no pink line. Therefore, flow is not your trigger. Here, pressure is not your trigger. So therefore, the trigger variable is time. On the Puritan Bennett ventilators, on the top left with each breath, you will see it says either A for assisted or C for controlled breath. That's it for trigger variables. Why don't you join us for the next video where we talk about the target variable.